It's time to get zany artsy, time to create like crazy. Draw, paint, sculpt a day with zany artsy. It's time to get zany artsy, time to create like crazy. With your hoes and wah, we say voila, it's zany artsy. Zany artsy. Zany artsy. Welcome back, 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 back to my channel. Back, 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 back to my channel. Back. channel welcome to my channel if it's your first time welcome to my channel yes it is me yes I am back and I know you're like where have you been at my house doing absolutely nothing watching a whole bunch of Netflix because I felt like it because sleep is important I'm not gonna lie to you so I'm back and here is another episode of your favorite show of them all zany artsy Yes, I am back again. I was going to say it's like a season two, but I'm like, I don't know what a season, but it technically is season two, because I start when the terms start, you know what I mean? So, today we're going to be doing a lovely follow-up episode, because as you know, we did part one of our video, just before we wrapped up in June-ish. Was it June? I don't know if it's June. Was it June? I think it's June. Yeah, I think it's June. Yeah, June. So, yes, we wrapped up in June the last time on character design part one. So, now we're going to do the continuation, which is, you guessed it, part two. All right? Yeah, that's a two. Two, 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 two. So, we're going to be doing part two of character design. Yes! We are going to be finishing up my one little character that I started. I call it Crocodilia. So today we're going to be doing a continuation of our last video. So this one is basically coloring. That's the whole topic of it this time around. Character, character design, the coloring edition. Because, strange enough, I've seen over the years, people forget how to color. Why are people afraid to color? Pencil crayons were made to be broken and resharpened. That's the whole point. That's why they're called pencil crayons. So if the point, break! Sharpen it and continue. What's all right in that? Press on it. So, I'm going to be showing you the different techniques because most times my students are like, oh my God, miss, how do you do that? How do you get the shadows and stuff? Oh my God, that is like so amazing. Miss, how do you do that? I want to learn how to do that too. Simple. I'm going to show y'all that today. Yes. So, you're going to definitely need, of course, the drawing, duh, and then you're going to be needing pencil crayons. Wait a minute. You don't really need anything because I'm just making you see my coloring process that I do for my pictures that I do design. Um, but if you want to follow along, it's up to you. If you're going to follow along, you're going to need your pencil crayons. Definitely your pencil crayons and eraser, just in case you want to do a certain effect. And definitely, 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 you're going to need your sharpener. Because if the point breaks, you got to sharpen it back to continue. So, let's get to it. Here we have our paper, pencil crayons, sharpener, and eraser. Always ensure that the area in which you're coloring upon is smooth because if the area is very textured you'll have a lot of bumpy bumpy sections so you want to make sure that wherever you're coloring is a smooth flat area you definitely have to plan your color scheme before you even start coloring there are different color schemes that exist there is your cool colors that includes blue, green, purple. And then you have your warm colors that include red, yellow, and orange. So you choose which color scheme will be best for you. It's okay to mix those color schemes as it gives it more interest. 
you want to start off by adding your base color. Your base color is usually the lightest color you're going to be using under the various colors you're going to apply on top. It's always best to start off with the foreground area of your drawing. That's the area that's mostly to the front. And then go on to the background areas after. When coloring, always ensure that you keep within the lines. It keeps the work looking neat and presentable. So try to keep the strokes inside the lines and keep the strokes close so that not much white areas are shining through the colors as that takes away from the brilliance of it all. By going in the same direction most of the time, that allows your colors to blend smoothly. Always remember to apply force to the pencil point. That way you get maximum color from your pencil crayons.
If you are lacking one of the colors, it's always good to use another color that's closest to it as a substitute. Remember, art is an expression. Everything doesn't have to be literal. Now I'm going to use the black crayon to bring out the shadows and textures in the piece. I use the black to add certain details, therefore giving it a more enhanced and 3D-like look. I also use my fingers as a way of spreading the color. While coloring with the black, I also utilize a technique known as smudging. Smudging is basically taking either your finger or tissue paper to basically blend the colors together. And it also gives it a very smooth finish. When you're doing imaginative shading like what I'm doing, it's always good to decide where your light is coming from. 
So that way you know which areas to leave light and which areas to make dark or darker. Once you are finished, you can sign your work, and here is your masterpiece. Thank you for following along with me. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed coloring with me. Yes, that is my entire process. If you were to really sit down in real time and go through all of that, you'd have been here for at least a full two hours. I know anybody got that much time in their day, so be glad I sped it up. But if you feel that I should do the full long length version of this video? <laughs> comment below. Yes, I've opened up my comments now so y'all can comment. So, now we're going to get to a portion that we did start the last time. And now I think I totally, 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 totally got the name for it this time. You ready? Little Artsy's Segment. Yes. It's called Little Artsies. So this is basically the segment where I feature the works of anybody that sent in. I did give y'all an email. It's like right here. This email right here. You can send your works. If you want them featured on my videos, send your works to this email right here. Bam, 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 bam. All right. So people have been sending in their works. And so I'm going to feature them. As but I ain't going to lie to you. If that thing look ugh, don't expect me to be about putting it up on the channel like that. Mm-mm. I got standards. I'm not afraid to say it. Okay? So if you want your work featured on this channel, make sure it is colored, if necessary, drawn up well, and complete. Okay? And please, put your name somewhere on it, because if you send in the work with no name, I can't put it up. I'm sorry. It's just that's how it is. Okay, so make sure you put your name, not just your first name alone, first and last, okay? First and last name, and you will get featured in the Little Artsies section. All right? So, here we go. It's time for, what is this now? Is this episode two? I don't know. I don't know. But it's time for Little Artsies segment. Hit it.
Amaria Palmer, representing with paintings of city nightscape and also creepy landscape. Leah Watt, Household Interior. Miles Williams, giving you flower power. Isaac Gordon, capturing the pose. Strike a pose. Ow! Peyton Martin, fashion design, fashionista, and also paper person. I see she's been watching my videos. Jaden Lewis, capturing the pose as well. Fun fact, this is me. Suri Bryan. Star Girl. Yes, I see she followed my last video. Zara Lewis. With Digital Art Rainbow. Sydney Tullock. Also Digital Art Bubble Girl. Blah, 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 blah. And with our first animation entry from Paige Key. months ago so my brain is rebooting whatever anyways thank you for coming again so welcome to welcome back to my old subscribers and welcome to my brand new subscribers thank you for keeping the channel alive yes so remember to like subscribe and hit the notifications so that you can see whenever I do upload another episode. And yes, there will be more because, Lord, this is the season of the work time. So I'll see you next time on Zany Artsy. Enjoy your quarantine. Keep safe. Wash your hands. And for the love of God, don't cough in public. It's dangerous. Bye. It's time to get zany artsy, time to create like crazy. Draw, paint, sculpt a day with zany artsy. It's time to get zany artsy, time to create like crazy. With your hoes and wah, who say voila, it's zany artsy. Zany artsy. Zany 